Hello everyone, it's me Lumpy, back with another video and today I want to do a sketchbook tour for you because I have been walking around with this sketchbook and I've been waiting for it to be completed because <laughs> I want to show you really bad. So before anything, I want to show you the art supplies that I use and why I like them. This is not sponsored by the way, I just really want to show you what I've been doing. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I really like using is my watercolor set, my tiny little watercolor set. It's very very handy and very easy to use. I love taking it with me everywhere. After that we have my oil pastels and I really like using these for backgrounds and whatnot. And after that we have some good old-fashioned colored pencils. I love sketching with these and coloring of course. And of course the big bunch. First thing up is my normal 5B pencil. Never lets me down, everyone needs one. After that I have my newest addition to the bunch, a Tombow brush pen, and I'm obsessed with this thing. We have a Stabilo ink pen. After that, a Pentel sign pen, another inking brush, and a Stettler permanent Lomo color. Very nice. Now we're getting to my highlights, which is this white super color permanent type ink pilot pen. It's pretty hard to use sometimes, but because it's hard to use, I also have this other gel pen, a jelly roll. This one's pretty pretty neat, as you can see at the tip. After that, we have my toning markers. This one is a twin marker, and my pri my prideest possession, my Copic markers. I'm a big fan of these. After that, we have this amazing pen that I'm absolutely obsessed with. The label is faded off, that's how much I've used it. It's a Fable Castle um, big marker, big pen. And then a Posca, of course. And my trusty sharpener. Very nice to use. Keeps all the stuff inside. Very nice. Alright, we've arrived to the tour part of the video. I will just be flipping through and I'll be narrating what I did and my thought process and what I used, etc. Alright, here we go. We have the beginning pages are heavily with um, colored pencil. And we have some expressions from Lumpus and some Fanta. I love drinking that stuff. I bought these oil pastels and I was going ham with those on the backgrounds, as you can see. Some more guys walking in the background, more colored pencil sketches. Here uh, Fiona and Cake came out and I was really excited. We have a little dancing guy, dancing Lumpus, some Splatoon art, a little comic. Oh wait, we have Rook and some like lights kind of things. We have a comic, um, and here is a kinko page. They used to be a mushroom, but are now a human, which is very interesting. We have some more OC art, my guys. Uh, we have a very pretty looking forest creature. I don't know what she is. We have a flint page. My scared researcher. Another comic, if you want to read it, you can you can pause if you want. Here is my um, Call of Cthulhu character. I played a few sessions, it was very fun. This is my cover art, as you can see, I animated a little badger walking around. With four frames, some body studies, a Lumphus page. She's so silly, isn't she? Uh, some more OC art, and my friend Hymedra. <laughs> We have a Jesse page with a nice dried flower right there. I like collecting flowers a lot and putting it in my pages to add a little extra texture. My friend Levi. Love that man. <laughs> we have another comic. Some uh, winter blues kind of feeling. We have magic. This is what I wanted my magic to look like in my comic. So I was testing it out. We have a rook page. Very nice, very nice. I love her. We have some forest studies I did with my friend Barbart. Very fun. Very good day. 
we have my first onafu and a rice leaf from Genshin Impact. That's when it just came out. This was when I watched Five Nights at Freddy's movie with my friend. <laughs> and here come the endless dog studies. I'm a dog groomer in training, as some of you might know, and I need to know all of the breeds, so what better than just to draw them all? Some more fursona art. And this is my keychain designs. This one I ended up choosing, going with. Here's a picture of that. Some more Kinko art with some lyrics I was listening to at the time. Scooby-Doo, because of course I love Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, here's Stu, a D&D character. I was trying to get a feel for what she was like. With a big spread art as well. Very nice. Some more art of the doggies. These are all the, the groups of dogs that I'm trying to learn. I was really enjoying these pages. Some more study work, some environment study, and some hands and feet. Always good to study those. I love using fluent lines and just letting the flow take me. Some more character art. Some more flint falling on the ground or whatever he did. Funny man, I love him. A new OC, Dank, which I am still trying to figure out what I want to do with. Some more pages of her, because I was trying to figure it out still. <laughs> more dog pages! Everyone's favorite! Dog pages! I love drawing dogs. I'm trying to get better at it. A fun day with my friend Vibra. Here's some, uh, some Lumphuses with outfits that she doesn't wear normally. Phantom art, because I don't know, he's a hottie. Some more OC art, Dank and Flint. Trying to figure out our outfit. More flint with some pretty stamps. I was trying to play with light here. I was trying to make a Christmas card, but it didn't really go that well. Watched Chainsaw Man here. <laughs> My favorite character. <laughs> here is a little turnaround of yours truly, myself. And I drew some motherfucking fishies! Let's go! I love that trout. The, the texture really worked out on that one. Here's my really sweet dog, Koda. He was sleeping. Here's some more lyrics of songs I was listening to and Rook dancing to it. Some more OC art of my guy Flint and Lumphys. And on the right we have a lightning study of Jesse and Lumphys. I was really excited about that one. Some um, Mob Psycho fan art. Here is, I went to a zoo and uh, I did some studies or some, just some doodles. This is where I got my Posca pen, I was trying it out. Not a big fan of those pages at all. Here is um, a Lethal Company fan art because I was playing it a lot. <laughs> I did this at the hairdresser. I don't know, just some, some, some drawings. Some more Mob Psycho art, my man. I love these. Here's some random people I saw on the street, and there's my friend Babla. <laughs> and some more Mob Psycho, because I I am... it has me in his grasp. I got some stargazing uh, drawings. <laughs> I got some Hatsune Miku art. Love her. I got some Shinjin Drowning uh, fan art. They are Roblox characters, so I stylized them. <laughs> some dog studies. Funny Borzoi, Clown Borzoi, um, some more Flint OC Doodles, did that when I was outside, some more OC Doodles and Navia from Genshin Impact, some more um, Borzoi studies and a little smile dog <laughs> with some flowers, another Borzoi and, and a bunny. I was doing a lot of animal studies as you can see, here is a Kinko. Here's even more Kinko. <laughs> I love them. They're cool. Um, this is a piece I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> it's Simpa's birthday. It was my birthday this week, so... There we go, more, uh, more, uh, animal studies, sorry. More OC art and some doodles of outfits I wanted to wear. More flint art, um... My friend and I, as a pizza maker and a customer, <laughs> Um, some 
I don't know, some doodles and a tiger. Marina and Pearl, because the DLC just came out and I'm obsessed. And Albedo and Klee from Genshin Impact. And that's where it ends. I got some poetry at the end, but it's not very good. Um, yep. Look at this fucking bad boy. Holy shit. Amazing. And that pretty much sums it up. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching me go through my sketchbook and telling you about it. It's been a big passion project. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I hope to be uploading more. And if you want to see more of my actual digital art or my sketchbook scans, I post them on Twitter slash X. I don't know what you want to call it. But it's Lumpus on pretty much everywhere, so you can find me anywhere. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> thank you so much. I'll see you around. Bye-bye!